Hey guys, Moose78 here and welcome back to another American Truck Sim video. Just a quick video today, gonna go over some recent news as SES has updated their blog post a couple times this month. And also we're gonna do a little bit of map rescale discussion, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So SES just updated their blog uh, with some new screenshots of the rescale and uh, from what I saw, it looks pretty promising. And the biggest thing that came out of that, at least to me, and I think uh, quite a few others as well, is Donner Pass is confirmed for the rescale. Now this is cool for a couple different reasons. One is they're actually listening to the community and putting stuff into the game that we really want to see. But of course the other uh, reason why it's cool is it's one of the most iconic stretches of road out on the West Coast. Really excited to see this, uh, see some more screenshots of it, and ultimately uh, drive over Donner Pass and taking a look at some more of the screenshots. They've posted what they call a unique truck stop on a new road segment uh, on I-10 there in Arizona, and it looks pretty cool. It's something different that uh, we've not seen in the game before. And what I take from this is it does seem like they're making new prefabs specifically for American Truck Sim, which is cool. So that way we get stuff that's unique to this game and not just kind of a copy and paste job from Euro Truck Sim. And another noteworthy item from the post is the screenshot of uh, I-80 between Sacramento and Oakland where a part of that was missing. They went back and fixed that, but they've also added the junctions, including the overpass that crosses over I-580, which is pretty cool. That they're going back and they're really kind of touching things up and making it a lot more accurate than uh, it currently is. And just the last screenshot there just shows uh, US 60 near Sholo and it just shows some different landscapes, uh, some, different, some different kind of landscapes and environment. So that that's pretty cool. So just from uh, these four screenshots, it does look like they are going back and fixing a lot of the stuff that does need fixed and corrected, which is good. You know, they're not just going to go back, make the map bigger and just be done with it. They're, they are actually going back and put some time into it, correcting things, adding new environments, and uh, adding things into the game that was missing uh, previously when it was, you know, first launched. So this is definitely good news. Uh, still, still uh, very optimistic on the direction they're taking this game. And uh, can't wait to see more updates from their rescale project. And just one more small uh, news piece. Back on August 3rd, they uh, posted something about Euro Truck Sim and the DAF coming to the DAF XF105 coming to that game. But uh, in that post, they did say that the legal part of it can uh, still uh, be very lengthy. So it sounds like that's still kind of a hang up, which is kind of what I thought. That maybe they were still having some legal issues with getting these trucks licensed and everything. But they really didn't go on to say much more than that. But uh, they did say they hopefully they can uh, confirm some news uh, here pretty soon. So of course, we'll be on the lookout for that. But kind of switching gears and getting more into uh, the map rescale discussion, uh, just a couple things to talk about today. Uh, first one is the yards in the game, or you know the places you don't deliver to, the companies that you deliver to, and so forth like that. Hopefully in the rescale uh, they can make those, and I don't know if this will be entirely possible, but uh, maybe they can kind of create their own prefabs for those as well. So that way, a lot of the yards that we deliver to are not so stinking small. You know, I'm always up for a good challenge, you know. But every delivery and every time we either pick up a trailer at a company or deliver to a company, it shouldn't be just so extremely, I don't want to say difficult, but it just, you know, the yards shouldn't be as small as they are. You know, a lot of these distribution companies here in America are engineered to facilitate, you know, these large trucks and a lot of trucks and a lot of traffic in their yards. Whereas most of the ones in game really aren't really aren't designed for, you know, the American style of trucks. It's just again, it's kind of a copy and paste thing from your truck sim too, where the trucks are a little bit smaller, you know, they don't have quite, I don't think, and I could be completely wrong on this, but I don't think they really have you know, the 70 foot long trucks over there like we do over here. Now, that's not to say that, you know, I want every place that it would deliver to just to be this massive yard where it's absolutely no problem at all to get backed in, hooked up, whatever. You know, give us give us a little bit of variety, you know, make some places, you know, kind of kind of difficult to get into and deliver to because there are, you know, absolutely there there are those places 
you know, here in America where, you know, you go to deliver and it's not really ideal for a large tractor trailer to get in and out of. So I think, you know, to have some of those in game would definitely help keep it realistic, but also kind of have those big yards where you can easily get in and out, you know, with no issues or anything like that. And it's kind of one quick thing to add to that. And I'm not sure how possible this would be, but I think it'd be kind of a pretty cool feature is, you know, when you're, you know, backing up or, you know, to drop your drop your load off or whatever or pick up a trailer it'd be kind of cool if ai trucks would come in and kind of do the same thing as you're you know unloading or picking up a load and stuff like that to kind of add to that experience as well you kind of have to maneuver around some of the traffic too again i doubt that's realistic but just eh, kind of throwing it out there for discussion i guess but that's where i'm going to end today's video i know we kind of went over a lot kind of real quick uh what are you guys most excited for with the map rescale you're pretty pretty stoked about donner pass getting included into the game i'll uh, just leave a comment down below love hearing from you guys but if you like today's video please give it a like and a share this helps me out a bunch helps the channel grow and if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed please consider doing so now but guys until the next video stay safe out there take care and we'll be seeing you hey guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video please take a moment and subscribe to my channel also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, click on the icon on the outro pic. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, click on the NoScope icon for my affiliate link. And if you want more ATS content, click on the video to check out my Stories from the Road playlist. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.